What's happening, Tech Timers? This is Andre of Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews, where I review cool tech and everyday products that will make your lives just a little bit easier. And today, I'm coming to you live with no jive as I review a brand new HP Chromebook. Can you dig it? Okay, so before I get down to the nitty gritty, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell all below, and please share if you care. Okay, so this is HP's latest Chromebook, and some of you may notice that it is opened. Okay, I'm gonna go through this very quickly. I ordered this on uh, Amazon Prime Day last week, Tuesday. It should have been here on Thursday didn't show up. On Sunday, I called Amazon. They said they would ship out a replacement, which would be delivered today, which was Monday. This morning, I got a notification that the original order was also shipping, so I ended up with two. They asked me to open up one, make sure it was working, and the other one, which is sitting right over there, is going back to Amazon. So, now that we've got all of that, Let's take a look at the box. There's some specs right there. Of course, we're gonna go over everything, some more information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but who cares about that? Let's get it out. Of course, there's your documentation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there it is. I get out the rest. Okay. All right, let's get rid of the packaging. File it away over there. Okay, straighten out the camera a little bit. There's your charger, USB-C. And there it is. Let's get it out. This is the HP 14, 14A, NA, 0090NR. I know it by heart because I've been dealing with this, trying to get this delivered for days now. So it's a nice teal color. Some would say blue. That's it. Let's open it up. 14 inch, of course. And of course, it being a Chromebook, once you open the lid, it takes a few seconds to, to start up. So what I'm gonna do is, as with any device, that comes with the battery. I'm gonna charge this up for several hours because I don't know how long it's been sitting in Amazon. So I do that to condition the battery, but y'all know what's next, the specs. Okay, Tech Timers, full disclosure, I've had this laptop now for exactly one week. It is uh, Monday, July 5th. And um, I actually did a complete video, but I wanted to do it over just so I could break it down into parts because there are some uh, aspects that really need to be covered in depth. So here we go. Operating system, Chrome OS, processors, the Intel Celeron 4020, two cores at 1.1 gigahertz, and it can burst up to 2.8 gigahertz with a four megabyte L2 cache. Memory is DDR4 running at 2400, that's soldered on board, so unable to upgrade. The storage is the 32 gigabyte, uh, EMMC, so it's not SSD, and that's because it's too small, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. The display is a 14 inch diagonal full HD, so it's 1920 by 1080 IPS anti glare WLED backlit. The ports it has two USB C ports, one USB Type A, one headphone slash microphone combo port. The webcam is an HP Wide Vision HD camera, and I'm guessing that's at 720p because most laptops are. It's not listed on the website. 
uh, that has an uh, integrated dual array digital microphone. So the speakers are dual, there's two of them. Bang and Olufsen, but don't expect it to sound like Mercedes and Audi or even a BMW. Um, keyboard is full size and it's backlit, that's a biggie for me. The trackpad is an HP image pad with multi-touch adjuster support. Uh, it's, the wireless is going to be Realtek Wi-Fi. Uh, 5 Bluetooth 5. The power supply is a 45 watt USB-C type. Dimensions are 12.82 inches by 8.60 inches by 0 0.070 inches. The weight 3.24 pounds and the color is a forest teal and natural silver. Now that we've got the specs out of the way, let's get down to the get down. Okay, Tech Timers, so just so y'all know that I am not shucking and jiving when it comes to bringing y'all quality and informative videos, I'm gonna go ahead and do a complete power wash on this uh, laptop. Like I said, I've had it for exactly one week now. Power wash is just Chromebook ease for factory reset. So I'm gonna hit on settings, click on that, and let's go to advanced reset settings so if you have a chromebook and you ever want to restore it just completely wipe it out just follow these steps so there's power wash and it's going to remove all of the user accounts and reset your google chromebook device to be just like new so there you go reset and restart and it really doesn't take very very long to do this numerous times but as you can see, uh, it should be coming up in just a moment here. It just flashed on. And there it is. So reset this Chromebook. Let's click on Power Wash. Continue. And it, the computer is doing its thing. And let's see, it says in progress. And, and what you're seeing on the screen is not what's on the laptop right now because it's resetting itself. So it has to reestablish connection to the screen, but it's already flashing the Chrome screen and it should be coming up right now. You're okay, tech timers, just for this portion only, I'm going to do this the old school way because my capture card will not um, work with the Chromebook until it's set up. So that's why I've got the phone pointed directly at the Chromebook. So when you open up your Chromebook, welcome to Chromebook. Do you want to activate Chrome Vox, which is the voice? No, I want to continue without that. So let's do that. And let's see, English, accessibility, get started. So I'm going to connect to my home network. Okay, so I've got my password typed in. Let me click on connect. And if you've got a, you know, an account with Google, as in, you know, Gmail, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then you're pretty much set up. So let's accept and continue. It's checking for updates, of course. Taking a look at the configuration. And I need to charge it up some more. Um, who's, who's using this Chromebook? I am, so it's already checked. Click on next. Let me sign in. So I'm signing in with my everyday account and I'll explain that in just a little bit. And I did hit next, right? Yep, I put in my password. Okay, so now, and this is not a very, very long process. It's really very, very easy. Um, let's see. So we're gonna sync, accept and continue. And let's see, Google Play and Ads, terms of service, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the usual jive. So let's see, click on accept and one of those options was to back up to the Google Drive. I normally don't do that. So I'm probably going to 
um, you know, change that option later. But in any event, your Google Assistant works here too. Do I want to use that? I'm just gonna say no thanks for now. Um, actually, you know what, let's, let's click on I agree. Access your assistance with Hey Google. I agree. That's something we can check out later. Voice match is ready. It looks like you're already set up, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to connect it to my phone just yet. It says sync isn't working, so we'll take a look at that all in just a bit. You are all set, get started. Welcome to your Chromebook. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And the reason why I sign into my everyday account is because when I, okay, there's my, my, um, my background there. And let's see. Let's see. So um, I log in with my everyday account to show you because now, you know, there, there's some bookmarks already there. I don't have to set up uh, the browser again. If I go into settings and I click on extensions, there are all of my extensions. So we're gonna take a little closer look at all of this. Let me just go ahead and now connect this directly to my capture card so that we'll be all set. Okay, Tech Timers, so now that I have the capture card connected to the Chromebook, let's see what's going down. Now this is my desktop. Let's see how quickly Chrome launches. See, pops right up. I'm gonna open up uh, some uh, tabs. See how quickly. And I've got a video playing in the background here. It's from my previous video. You can see how quickly the tabs are populating when I click on them. And I know some of you may think that this is a, um, a lowly uh, Celeron processor. And, you know, let's be honest. Yeah, it is. But for Chrome, because it's a lightweight OS, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty quick. So, so now let's take a look. Um, over here are the my extensions that I have installed. For instance, this one is going to be a speed test. The, it, an extension is like a mini app that you add into your browser. So you know I can do the speed test from here. And so anyway, um, so when you have a Gmail account, and wow, that's slow. This should be I have eighty. It should be more than that. But anyway, when you have a Gmail account um, no, and you log into your, your Chrome browser, it's going to pull in all of your favorites, all of your extensions if you have them install, uh, installed. It doesn't matter which computer you use or where you are in the world. If you log into Chrome browser with your you know, credentials, you will have all of your favorites and you know extensions like for instance this is a firewall right here it's called blue hell etc 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 so that is um, not specific to Chrome OS that's what I've just shown you as far as the favorites and the extensions that's specific to the Chrome browser but if I go down here to, to the launcher these are applications that I've installed now I know a lot of people think that um, you know Chrome uh, OS is strictly for working uh, in the cloud. Well, you can install your applications in the cloud, but I prefer installing applications on my computer. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's take a look at this uh, application. It's called COG. It's a system uh, profiler. Okay, so there's the operating system. This is the latest version. And of course, it runs on a Linux kernel. There's my CPU. There's external storage, 128 gigs. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. There's the memory and there's some further information as you scroll down. Okay, so let's get out of this. Um, I'll tell you what, let's show you how I installed these applications. There's the web store. If you click on that, 
it opens up in your browser here's how I installed extensions so let's try um, let's try um, okay I don't know what this is momentum so if I do this and I click on add extent uh, extension you can see it's downloading it's done Let me um, go here, so I would click on this uh, little icon here, and you can see, well the list is too long, let's go here, and the one that I just installed, right there, momentum, so I could turn it on turned on if I go here it's momentum if I click on the pin then it's going to remain right there so I don't know what this is I have no idea but I'm going to uninstall it just let me deactivate it and click on remove so that's how you would install extensions to your browser but if you want to let's see if I'm still on the same page let's go here if you want to install applications Okay, so you can see that there are a ton of extensions and you can see when you scroll down, you know, it's going to load more. So same thing with applications, you have themes, you have applications, and then you can choose what, what type of applications. For instance, okay, let's say if I wanted a game, I'm not a gamer, but if I wanted a game, um, let's say I just wanted Chrome apps and I want applications that run offline so, so therefore these are going to be applications that will be installed on the computer um, let's try this basket and ball add to Chrome add app see how quickly it downloads very very quickly if I click on the launcher open it up there it is basket and ball see how quickly the game loads once again, very speedy processor uh, for this operating system. Down, click that. I'm going to go here, back to the launcher. I'm going to uninstall. And if I if I wanted to keep this game, and I played it like every day, I could just click on pin to shelf and it would just be down here for basically for a quick launch but like I said um, I'm never gonna play it so let's get rid of it right click uninstall so that's how you would install applications on your Chromebook from the web store and once again you've got um, you know different fields to choose from if you scroll down there are hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands upon thousands of games and applications for your Chromebook so maybe not um, applications that you're that you are familiar with your typical applications because if you're running a Windows or a Macintosh of course you know these are different applications but there are tons and tons and tons of applications so we did take a look at that Close that window. Let's go into settings. A couple of things I'm going to show you here. Um, let's go into security and privacy. So Chrome OS is a very, very secure operating system. There are updates all the time. So I think you know about the Chrome browser being very secure. Well, the operating system is very secure as well. Let's click on about. Chrome OS. I'm going to go here to additional details. And this is something that's very important. Chrome OS comes with six and a half years of uh, system updates. Now, based on the manufacturer date of this computer, I have exactly five years of updates left. 
even though it's it's a brand new computer i guess it sat in the warehouse for a long time before i purchased it so be careful when purchasing um a chromebook like let's say you go to amazon and you look at a chromebook and the price is right do a search for the a u e date that's auto update expiration my old chromebook and i'll show i will show you all that just a little bit later my old chromebook um the updates expire in september however it's still being sold on amazon for 2.99 by some unscrupulous people so make sure that if you find a chromebook that you look uh that you like do a search for that model and find out when the a u e date is that's very important to know let's go back into device i'm going to go into power management and so this is my built-in e m m c I'm, right now i'm using 14.6 gigs i have 17.4 available not a problem at all because as you can see i put in a 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD and I'm going to show you what happens let's turn that off so actually what I want to do is I want to get out of this and I actually ejected the card I'm going to go here to files and so I'm going to push in the micro SD and as you can see it's right there now when you when you put in the micro SD, um, it may need to be formatted. So this is what you would do. This is where it would show up. You have the option to eject, format, and rename. I'm going to format. Let's call it 128 GB. So erase and format. And when it's done, it's going to show up right there out of here I'm going to go back in, into settings I'm going to go to device storage management external there it is so now it's activated so when I install applications when there are updates if I want to save files they're going to save here this is how you expand the store uh, one of the ways you can expand the storage on your Chromebook that has a small storage a uh, small storage built-in so that's pretty cool and actually that's all I need I'm never ever gonna fill this up um, I'm sure you could put in you know a terabyte or more so that is how you would expand the storage on your Chromebook and what I could do is if I go into manage apps for instance like let's say this is an app I, I installed some time ago Duolingo you can go into all of your apps that are installed I will go into um, right here where it says permissions see storage that's the uh, 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD if I turn it off then it's just going to install the application and all of the updates to the built-in storage I turn it on everything is going to the micro SD card so now that we've seen you know how how it performs as you can see pretty quickly here let's take a look at the actual physical hard drive uh, computer itself okay tech timers so one of the things that I really like about this computer is the keyboard uh, feels pretty good you know very responsive um, just a little bit louder the keys are just a little bit louder than, than my MacBook Pro, which is near silent, but not bad at all. Nice, big, responsive trackpad. That's not glass, it's plastic, of course. As a matter of fact, the computer's made out of a little bit of plastic. Well, actually a lot of plastic, it's all plastic. There's a little bit of flex right here, but you won't, uh, you really have to push down. You won't encounter any flexing as you're typing. And because it's plastic, you know, there's going to be a little bit of give and take, you know, but it's actually very tough. You're not going to snap it in half. There is the uh, micro SD card right there. And you can see it pro protrudes just a little bit. And that is the um, 
Uh, I think that's an Evo. It's a Samsung EVO, I believe. And it's a 128 gig. And there it is, if y'all can make that out. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a link just above. Uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, description below, if that's something you want to get. And of course, if you want to expand the storage um, uh, or expand the capabilities by attaching different devices, this is the Ivanki uh, USB-C hub. You can, con I, I would be able to connect this directly to the USB-C port. I can connect the, uh, the computer's power supply to this. So while this is connected to the computer, it will be charging the computer. If you want to see the review on that, I'll leave a link above and I'll also leave a link in the description below. The screen is actually pretty sharp. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Um, it can get, well, the angle, the viewing angles aren't, aren't bad at all. When viewed from the side, it can get very, very bright. And of course, it can get dark. Let's test out the speakers. They are made by B&O, Bang and Olufsen. So let's get my sound meter. Speaker here, speaker there. And... As I review the Ruboka, Petaloid solar powered fountain for your bird bath or your pond. Can you dig it? So it actually gets pretty uh, pretty loud. Now here's the funny thing. Laptop um, speakers really don't sound very good, but I have it cranked all the way up. I mean, I've got the volume all the way up on the computer. I've got the volume all the way up in my video. There's no distortion and the sound is actually full. So if you're going to be listening to music or watching videos with this computer, I think you're gonna be surprised at how good it sounds. I don't think it sounds like, you know, like a car stereo system, of course, but it actually sounds pretty good. Um, I, I usually use my, my headphones or earbuds when listening to a computer, but if I don't feel like it, I can definitely uh, dig these speakers. So that's that. Anything else? I think that's pretty much gonna cover just about everything. So you know what, let's just go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I have to say that after having this now for seven days, and actually I'm, I'm doing this portion Tuesday, so I've had this now since Monday of last week, and it's now Tuesday. Um, I'm very much impressed with this computer. I, the, the battery is rated at um, 11 hours and 45 minutes. I got maybe 12 and a half hours right around there. So battery life is excellent. As you can see, it sounds really good. Keyboard is 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 uh, very responsive, as well as the um, trackpad. I love the viewing angles. I love how sharp and you know how bright the screen can get. I don't have any complaints about this computer at all. I never thought I would buy an HP because I'm I'm you know not a I'm, I'm more of a Mac guy, but I'm really happy. With, with what is going on here with this computer. So y'all know what time it is. It's time for Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews rating system. If I like the product, I'm gonna give it a right on. If I really like the product, it's gonna get a groovy, man. If I don't like the product, it's going to get a right off. If I really don't like it, it's going to be a jive turkey. Well, this Chromebook does absolutely everything that I needed to and more than I expected. And actually there's some more groovy things that's going on with it that we're gonna talk about in, the in a future video. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a groovy, man. I think that if you got this, especially if you purchased it on Prime Day, you would be very, very happy with it. So um, that concludes my review of the HP Chromebook 14A NA0090R. 
very good Chromebook for the cash. And please keep in mind that in all of my reviews, all of the opinions expressed are my own. I don't get paid to do this and I purchase all of the products with my own money. Also, as an Amazon associate, I, am earn, I earn from qualifying purchases. Please support the channel by purchasing items in this video with the links below. Enough said, thank you for hanging out here with me on Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews. Keep on trucking and I will catch you on the flip side of my next video. Now, can you dig that? Old Chromebook, I'm not done with you yet. Y'all stay tuned for that one. You dig?